Ladies and gentlemen, Snapshot 21W05A is out bringing a load of new lush blocks as well as some technical improvements and changes. My name is Sliced Lime, this is going to be a video about all of the technical changes in this version. I am assuming that you are familiar with the gameplay changes and if you aren't I would recommend you to watch my gameplay update video which is linked in the iCard and in the video description. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the technical changes in 21W05A, starting with a game rule change. The copper oxidization process is now a random tick effect. That means that it is affected by the random tick speed game rule. A single fix for a command in this version. The set block and fail commands did not work above height 1024 if you had a custom world with a higher world height. The names of nearly all of the copper blocks have changed since the oxidization process names have changed. They are now in the stages copper, exposed copper, weathered copper and oxidized copper and that applies to all of the variant names as well. A data change in this version, all projectile entity data now has a field called has been shot. If this field is false, then the projectile will the next tick fire off a projectile shot game event causing any nearby skulk sensors to react. Recipe changes in this version. All the vanilla recipes related to copper have been renamed, seeing as all of the copper blocks have been renamed. There's also a new recipe that is moss underscore carpet for crafting moss carpets. And the advancement for this is under the recipes slash decorations folder. Also note the addition of recipes for copper cutting in a stone cutter. Let's talk about loot tables. Of course here as well the copper blocks have been renamed, the new blocks have been added and the drowned default loot table now has a copper ingot instead of a gold ingot as a drop. Bunch of game event changes in this version. Couple of events have been removed, they are armor stand add item and flint and steel use. A couple have also been renamed, eating finished is now called eat and entity hit is now called entity damaged. There's also a slew of them added, they are block change, drinking finish, entity killed, entity place, equip, minecart moving, mob interact, prime fuse, ravager roar, ring bell, shear, shulker close and shulker open. Tag news in this version. There are new block tags in this version. They are cave vines, azalea log replaceable and lush plants replaceable. The block and item tag leaves now includes azalea leaves and azalea leaves flowers. There's a new item tag, fox food. It contains both types of berries in the game. And foxes are now included in the default set for the powder snow walkable mobs entity tag. New vibration types have been added to the vibrations game event tag and that game event tag has also been by default sorted alphabetically. At least almost. And another game event tag has been renamed, it is ignore vibrations stepping carefully which is now called ignore vibrations sneaking. New particles in this version, only one of them actually used in the game this far. The new particles are Farling, Spore, Blossom and Spore, Blossom, Air. Changes for resource packs. Remember that copper has been renamed, the new blocks have been added. Another interesting thing here is a performance improvement when using many overrides on an item model. A user interface texture has also changed the toasts.png user interface texture now has a new icon that is used for the bundle tutorial. It's a little mouse click icon. A server and the networking change. Clients could dismount vehicles independently from the server causing a desync. That has been fixed in this version should only matter if you are making something like a minigame and want to force a player on a custom server to stay in a vehicle. And last but certainly not least, world generation changes. A couple of bug fixes to kick things off. Villages would always generate at least on Y0. That has been fixed in this version but note that many features still do not work with custom world heights. Importing a custom world height file was also limited to 2047 rather than 2048. That's also fixed. One single change to the world generation formats this version that is a rename of a field inside of the dripstone cluster feature that was called max distance from center affecting chance of dripstone column. Short and sweet. That is now called max distance from edge affecting chance of dripstone column. 
And those were all the technical changes for Minecraft Snapshot 21W05A. I hope you found this quick update video useful. If you did, please help me out in return. Leave a like, toss a comment in the comment field down below and share it to one of your equally technical friends. That's it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Sliced Lime and I will see you next time.